Hey folks, welcome to the Do-It-Yourself Dad channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to take one of these little quadcopters and turning it into a hovercraft. And you can do this for as little as a dollar if you have the right stuff laying around the house. So the first thing you're gonna to have to start with is one of these quadcopters. And I have some examples here. Um, this here is a kind of first generation blade inductrix that was turned into a tiny whoop. And um, then it was replaced by this guy. I still fly this one. This is the uh, inductrix FPV with some mods on it. This is a full modded one. And then this is a uh, Eoshin E010, I think is what this one's called. And if you don't have a donor quadcopter to jump off from and you wanna do this on the cheap, I've got a link in the description below for one of these. You can pick them up for 13 to $15 online. They fly great. If you're gonna buy one, just buy two because you're gonna to wanna to turn one into a hovercraft and you're gonna to wanna to fly the other one around the house because these are a lot of fun. Um, so 13, 14 bucks. And then the only other thing you're gonna to have to purchase for this is a sheet of Dollar Tree foam board. And this is a chunk of one. So you could theoretically make this whole thing for a dollar if you already have yourself a, uh, a donor or if you need to buy a donor, 14 bucks. So this is a fun, easy, cheap project, and it's an awesome one to do with your kids. So those are the only things you're gonna to have to buy for this. The other things you're gonna need, you're gonna need plans. And uh, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. This is not my design, um, and I have a link for these plans in the description below, so you can jump on there and download these ones and give this guy a shout out. Um, you're gonna need a sharp, very sharp pencil. You're gonna need a razor blade um, or some sort of a cutter. Um, you want something extremely sharp. So get a nice fresh new blade and then you're gonna need a hot glue gun to glue this whole thing together. So with all that being said, let's get started. Okay, so we got our plans here and we've got our sheet of foam board. And the first thing we wanna do here is to keep our stuff from moving around. We're gonna grab just a little bit of tape, throw it in each corner of our foam board so we can trace this on there. And remember before I had said you want to grab a sharp pencil and this is why. You're actually not gonna be drawing on the foam board. You're gonna be pressing on the foam board and digging through so you leave yourself a nice impression on the underside. So you wanna push hard because uh, you can keep printing these plans out. You can, uh, you can do a couple. So press real hard so you get a nice indentation on the underside into that foam board. So there we go, now with everything traced on there, now we can remove our plans here from the top of the piece of foam. And um, you may or may not be able to see it through the camera, but um, there is a indentation of our project on here. And now we're gonna grab our razor blade and we're gonna work our way around and cut this out. Something that will be helpful, it's not necessary, but it's helpful is if you have a metal straight edge ruler that you can use to get these lines to make them nice and straight. It's not necessary, but it will help keep your lines a little bit straighter. And like I said, you wanna absolutely make sure that you have a nice sharp blade because as you cut through the foam board, if you have a dull blade, it'll start to catch and bind up on the foam board and your project just won't look as nice. So let's get started cutting this thing out. Keep nice and straight here. All right, so now with our hot glue gun nice and hot, we can kind of follow the plans here. And um, you can see here on this one, they actually have kind of drawn out where everything's supposed to go. So um, what we're gonna start with is the actual body of our hovercraft here. We're gonna glue this guy together. So this is the top of the hovercraft. You see it sits like that. And then this little piece on the bottom, this is the kind of the skirt. If you've seen full-size hovercrafts, they usually have a big skirt. This is um, made out of foam. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here. We're gonna run a nice bead of hot glue. You wanna move kind of quick because you don't want the hot glue to start to um, cool off on you. So we'll get some hot glue. We're gonna flip it over. We're trying not to burn our fingers and get that guy stuck on there real good. Press all the way around. A little bit of glue comes out, that is okay. 
And on the top side here, we have these little guys, and these are what are going to be our motor mounts. So this notch here in the middle, you want to line that up directly above these holes. And we're going to glue them in place just like so. But you want to make sure you line them up just above those holes so the fans are centered up. So you're going to want to put a little bit of glue here and here. You don't have to put anything here because it's not touching anything. And then we want to center that up right above the hole so the fan later will be centered up above the hole. And just, again, hold it in place just a second so it has a chance to set up. And then we'll do the same thing for the other side. The next step is we'll get in here with these. These are the actual motor mounts. These are the motors that are going to be pushing the hovercraft forward. And you can see here, those are going to be mounted just on the outsides. And I'm not being super precise here. Um, I'm just kind of following the drawing. So we're going to apply again just a little bit of hot glue. It doesn't take a lot. And then you can switch to the other side. So this little piece here, it's gonna go right here on the front, right down the middle. If you are gonna planning on running a camera, this is where you're gonna mount your camera. You don't have to, but you can. And if you have a, a tiny whoop or something like that that had a camera on it, you might as well use it. That way you can uh, do some FPV racing with your hovercraft here. So we're gonna put that guy right smack down the middle. And then we have these two little pieces here. They're gonna glue on either side of that piece. Just line those right up at the back there. So there's one. And this is building the base, the flight controller, or the, the little board in there that controls everything. This is the base that is gonna hold all that stuff. So, and since this one, so there we go, there's our frame. Um, we can now unplug our hot glue gun for a little bit while we uh, gut the parts off this thing. So we'll show you how that's done. And then we're gonna move everything on to our hovercraft. All right now, so let's start getting into the actual, I guess, gutting, you could say, of the quadcopter here. So on this guy, this is, like I said, a um, first generation Inductrix, all that we're gonna have four motors, and a flight controller. And the one thing you want to remember on these, no matter which one you're taking apart, is which end is forward. And on these, the battery lead is on the back. So that's an easy way to remember that that one is forward. And the reason you got to remember this is that determines where each motor is going when you put it on your hovercraft here. So we're going to start getting in here and getting this flight controller and the motors out. Okay, so now we've got all of our electronics free. We've got our four motors, our props are in place, and we've got our flight controller here. And on this one, they were even nice enough to give us a little arrow on the flight controller to indicate which way is forward. Um, but we also were talking about how the battery lead comes out the back, so you'll know which way the front and the back is, and you wanna remember that. Before you glue this thing in place, remember it's gonna go on top of this little pedestal here, right in the middle of your hovercraft. You need see here, I actually trimmed it a little bit so these leads, these motor leads would clear it and I could get it all the way down to that board. So with that kind of cleared out of the way, you want to make sure we're not going to get any of our motor wires in the way here. We're going to put a dab of hot glue right here on this middle piece. We're going to glue this guy right there in place. So now with that thing in place, we have to determine which motors are our front motors and which ones are our back motors. And um, you just look on the underside, the plugs that are in the front are obviously the front. And those ones, we're just going to put in place. So your front left motor is going to go into your front left motor mount here. And your front right motor is going to go into your front right motor mount over here. And then we're gonna put a little shot of glue. You don't need to do a lot, just enough to hold each one in place on each one of these motors. Mm -hmm. 
and here's where things get tricky. On the back motors, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna actually flip these guys in the other direction. And you might have to get some slack in your wire. So you'll notice why these are all curly queued up. You might actually wanna take them, you'll notice on these, they're, they're twisted around each other. To get a little bit more slack in those wires, you might have to untwist them a little bit to get that slack so you can stretch that wire all the way around to the other side. You gotta kind of weave it underneath everything. Okay, so there we go. I've got it kind of set up here. Um, I actually, these wires were shorter than I had expected. So I actually had to move these motor mounts in a little bit um, so they would clear the wires. So you can see here, if you look on the underside, the wire from one side crisscrosses over and the wire from this side crisscrosses over. So we've crisscrossed the motors and now we've got everything set up. So unless we're planning on putting a camera on it, which I am later, but right now I just kind of want to fly around. Now all we got to do is put up a battery, bind it up to a transmitter and buzz around the house and see how this thing works. So there she is, all done, bound up. Um, I haven't figured out a good mount for the battery yet. I'm gonna work on that next. Right now I just have it kind of taped down there. So the way this guy functions is you give it a little bit of stick here and that gives you some lift and then you're doing your controls with this one. So you don't ever have to touch that right stick if you're gonna be using just one of these rods. I didn't bother to pair this up to my Tyrannus and do tuning and whatnot. So this is what it's at. So um, anyway, here it is. It does fly really well. I'm gonna to try to film it and fly it at the same time which is kind of tricky. Uh, what do you think? Is this, is this driving or is this flying? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Is this driving it or am I flying it? Uh, but anyway, if this video helped you out at all, give me a great big thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below and share this if you like. We really appreciate your, uh, your viewership. Thanks for watching.